Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can export uh, pictures or images from a SketchUp to Blender. I have already here a model. In this case, it is a house. I have chosen uh, a complex one. Uh, because uh, we are going to test uh, how uh, the, the final result will be and uh, if we can work with a more complex one it is better I have downloaded it from uh, SketchUp warehouse uh, here you can find lots of models for your SketchUp you can assess it by typing 3d warehouse.sketchup.com okay so uh, the first thing that uh, we need to do is to go to the menu and type and click on the export to 3d picture okay it's easy file export 3d model let's select the desktop because i want to export it to the desktop and if you click here you have some uh, file types that you can choose uh, 3ds file which is a native 3ds file AutoCAD the next two ones are related to AutoCAD Collada file that is one of the of the methods that we are going to to use FBX file IFC file Google Earth file OBJ file W V so I'm sorry VRML and she's XSI okay for this tutorial we are going to use uh, two methods that are the collada file and the obj file okay basically uh, i have searched in the internet uh, collada files are uh, interactive files for 3d applications i have go to to wikipedia to to learn a little bit more about those two types collada and obj you can do it uh, I recommend you to do it and uh, obj file is uh, basically is the most standard uh, files uh, 3d files that that I that I know I, it works with 3d studio max blender sketchup so for me uh, I think that it is the better and uh, for now let's go to sketchup and let's export it let's use first the obj file okay let's click X let's change the name export house okay and let's export it to the desktop okay the results are here the file is exported now if we go to the desktop as you can see it have created me a folder and two files okay in this folder basically uh, sketchup have placed uh, all the textures that are present on the the main scene and now to import it we just need to go to blender let's remove this cube because we are not going to need it select file import and let's select the obj file okay let's just scale it it have imported to be and now as you can see we have basically the house that we have in sketchup if you click here to see the house with all the textures as you can see it have preserved all textures that are applied in sketchup okay let's click on the object let's go to the shading tab so that you can see let's click here select the face and as you can see it appears here that the texture is applied okay relative to this method um, there is one problem uh, for me in my opinion is that you can import uh, the object it uh, looks good but the object is imported with only one object okay 
you can select the faces, the vertices, etc, etc, but you have only one object on your scene. The next, uh, uh, the next one that we are going to try is FBX. As I told you before, they are the Colada files, okay? File, let's do it, file, export, 3D model. Now let's select the Colada file. I'm sorry, uh, before I have said FBX, <laughs> uh, they are not FBX, they are DAA file, okay? FBX are, uh, is one type that uh, is used a lot, but uh, for this case I think that uh, will not work, okay? Uh, Blender will not recognize the, the export of uh, two FBX, in this case, in this particular case. So let's select the Colada file. Let's make export house Colada and if we go into the desktop it have uh, the process is the same it have created one folder with all the textures on it okay and now let's see the result let's delete the house go to file import select the colada file and select the file okay As you can see, it have imported all the textures, but this time we have the advantage that we can select all the objects on the scene, okay? So, uh, in my opinion, and uh, in my case, uh, I think, and uh, that if you want to, to export from SketchUp to Blender, I think that this is the, um, the type of files that will give you better results. I hope that you have liked it and uh, subscribe my channel uh, to see further videos. Thanks a lot.